The specific patterns for this will vary per doll, since they all have different ear placements. Here's how I customized it specifically for a bunny doll. Start with a slip knot, then chain enough to fit the width of the doll head. Turn the chain to crochet into the back loops. We will create an arch to fit the front of the head by making a slip stitch single, then half double crochet on the first three loops. Make double crochets in the middle in this case for Then half double, single crochet and slip stitch on the last three loops. The front of the towel should now fit the front of the head. If the doll doesn't have ears sticking up, we can repeat this pattern for row 2 and skip to row 3 for this doll. We're going to make slits so that the bunny ears can stick out. Chain 1, turn your work. Single crochet. Then chain 4. Skip 3 stitches to reach the middle of the row. Make 2 double crochets in the middle. chain 4 again and skip 3 stitches single crochet then slip stitch check to see if the doll ears fit adjust the chain length if needed Row 3, chain 1, single crochet twice, single and double crochet decrease. Half double crochet, 3 double crochet. Then half double crochet, double and single crochet decrease. Single crochet twice, then slip stitch. Check again to see if the doll ears fit. Next, we'll start with the buns. Bun 1, row 1, chain 2, then slip stitch to create a loop. Chain 2, then make a total of 9 double crochets. Where you put the stitches may vary, but just make sure to spread the stitches evenly. To create the round with an end stitch count of 10. Slip stitch to complete row 1. 
Bun 1 row 2. To complete the sheep or bun shape, chain 1. Single crochet 9 times, then slip stitch. Now to get to the other side without cutting your yarn. Just chain two, slip stitch into the back of the bun, slip stitch again, then single crochet across a row. Slip stitch twice again, then repeat bun one pattern for bun two. Bun to row one, Bun to row two. Slip stitch, chain one, and cut to complete. The middle towel part can vary a bit per doll, but the bun pattern should be the same throughout. I used chunky number five yarn for this pattern, but doubling a number three or number four yarn should work as well. Stay tuned for the shirt pattern to complete your 1 to 7 squad sauna outfit. 